there's an area of um, kind of choosing co-founders and managing partners and you know if as you grow your team or, or choose to work with people there are decisions there especially early on that are that are critical and so the sort of the main thing that I, I learned firsthand that um, has saved me so many times has to do with having the difficult conversation up front um, so the best example of that would be something like working out equity you know if you're working on a project um, it comes up all the time especially with uh, especially with co-founders or projects that are maybe not as serious when you get started um, you know maybe it's purely a fun side project and you just want to kind of work on it and have fun you're excited to be sorry you're excited to be working on it and you know you don't want to be greedy and thinking about ownership in something that has no value but the reality is so many times those those projects become the most interesting and the most lucrative and you get to a stage down the road where it turns out everyone had a completely different idea or understanding of what the structure would be and it's that's one of the most difficult uh, situations to find yourselves in so so for me and for some of the entrepreneurs I worked with one of the things I've really tried to encourage is this idea of really um, training yourself however you need to do it to have those difficult conversations right away and so um, being non-confrontational myself and I know a lot of engineers tend to have similar similar uh, traits you've got to find some way to um, enjoy the experience or to look at it as you know I mean for me what I do is I, I basically say you know this is preparation for a much bigger scarier person that I'm gonna have to kinda you know deal with down the road um, so for me I usually imagine you know a future ne negotiation or um, you know uh, another challenging circumstance that would you know make this particular conversation seem a lot easier and that saved me many many times and uh, I can tell you are you guys familiar with the company Path? I don't know if you guys use Path at all. Um, Path's the company I started with uh, Dave Moore and Dustin Moreau. And we had a buyout offer from Google, which was an obscene amount of money for a company that had, had not launched or had any um, you know, real traction. And the things that ensued following that, that acquisition offer were absolutely, uh, as it relates to all the stuff I'm mentioning now, it, it, it touched on almost every single one of these. In reality, it was kind of a um, crazy four-year deal where you're basically taking a job. But the reality of the circumstance was that that entire company had been so focused on its public launch and managing perception and dealing with a number of the, the marketing issues and things that really the founders had kind of lost touch with each other as far as what their objectives were around you know, is this about building a real big lasting business or just kind of making some cash? That was a company where, <coughs> having not worked through a lot of this stuff, um, caused a huge, huge problem among the founders. Uh, and in the end, caused a big falling out among some of the uh, people who I, I would say are some of the more influential angel investors and some of the, the more well-known entrepreneurs in, in, in this, this world. So despite the fact this seems like pretty obvious or simple stuff, it's stuff that it's easy to overlook and will in the end, you know, it, it can haunt you.